y'all farmer dre back at it. it's another beautiful day here on the farm but i want to thank everybody for stopping by if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year it's kind of getting slim here at the end but we'll see but i believe with you guys we can do it i hope everybody's having a great day so far i know it's a beautiful warmer morning here on the farm it's been nice and cold this past week i mean we've been working on the tunnel there and it's been a brisk week but today and tomorrow is supposed to be nice and warm so i believe today's supposed to get up in the mid 50s tomorrow's up close to 60 so hey i'll take the nice weather any day of the week any day of the year so uh let's go ahead and start talking about the road covers on the strawberry so i haven't showed you guys the road covers on the strawberries since we put them on and it's been about a uh about two two and a half weeks now i believe we put them on november 20 november 29th or never november, november 30th i i say i tell everybody about the first of december what's well, a couple days anyway so uh it, it was it's a lot later than we did last year last year we put the road covers on november 11th so we got on about about a whole nother month of growth three weeks another growth and this year the plants as you guys see in my previous videos i am very excited about them i mean they've been growing i'm very happy with them but i'm gonna go ahead and take off one of these corners here and show you guys how they've been doing and explain a little you know what's the point of, of doing row covers because i mean i'll tell you right off the back here they're really expensive i mean we paid i believe we used some from last year and we bought some more this year so i think in total row coverage wise to cover these two and a half acres we spent close to like four or five thousand dollars on these row covers so they are expensive but why do we need to put them on so i'm gonna go ahead and remove one of these sandbags here oh there you go that's some strawberries Let me use some of these ones right here i'm gonna make sure to put a lot of sandbags so they won't fly away so they won't blow away so here we go so these are the chandlers right here chandler chandler let me count here with the first five rows of Rocco's one, two, three, four, five. So this row right here is Rocco. So the plants have been growing nicely. Or not they're not growing. They're done growing for the season. That's it. Ever you know, once it gets cold, once that first cold snap comes, they're pretty much done growing vegetatively. I mean vigorously until spring once it warms up. Roots will continue to grow all winter long just because they are a colder season crop and they'll grow throughout the fall and the winter but the actual plants on top due to the day length and the date temperature they're they're done growing as ve as vigorously and as vegetatively so this is how the plants are going to look through the entire winter and if, i mean granted it's still you know about middle of december now so we're still you know there's still be covered for a couple of a couple of months here but these are the channels right here and then these are the roccos plants are looking about you know the roccos are just a tad a bit bigger but overall no, they're about the same size and these are both planted on september i believe 20th or the 9th we started planting on the 18th or the 19th and it took us five days to plant these 35,000 plants so um you know now i was i, I was been listening to other other extension people got uh people or whatever you want to call them uh extension agents and talking to other farmers and stuff you know in our area they say plant about the middle of september but i've been noticing and you know it's only my second year planting strawberries so i'm not that much of an expert but hey i'm starting to realize that the earlier earlier you plant the bet the better it is for the plants and then I, I i listen to a lot of things from the university of arkansas because they do a lot of research on strawberries and they're just the research station is probably like two two half two and a half hours south uh, south of us so i mean they're they're fairly close to our area but they, they mainly do a lot of things for the southern region of the united states but i mean we're not too far north so we, i take a lot of information from them but they did a trial on the chandlers with planting on time and planting a week late versus row covers on time and row covers a week late so they did a bunch of trials and mixtures and whatnot and the plants that were planted on time with the row cover on time had a seven crowns developed and the plants that were planted late with the late row cover only had two crowns developed so you can imagine from a one pound per plant production wise to a a, a quarter pound or even you know not even that like very few berries on the plant just were planting a little later a week just a week later that's it just a week later in the fall 
and putting on the row covers about a, a week to 10 days later than, than usual. They lost so much production. So that's why I'm starting to realize now, hey, if we go ahead and plant early, earlier than usual. So, you know, I'm the way I'm projecting now, I'm, I'm hoping to start planting next year, about the first week or second week of September. I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim for the first week of September and then put on the row covers on time whenever the average day temperature reaches, the re average day high temperature reaches 50 degrees, put them on and then we're gonna have a, a beautiful crop out here but hey that's how you learn that's how you that, that's the thing the, the biggest teacher in life is failure and i'm not saying we failed this year i mean we're still gonna see a wonderful crop off these um these plants here i mean i'm projecting they have five to seven crowns already developed because you know with, with real good fertilization we had such a warm fall so these plants are gonna do this really well but you know that's why i'm always continuing trying to learn and always to progress because there's always something new to learn i mean a person can know so much but then there's always room for progression if someone thinks they know everything well they know absolutely nothing so that's that's the mindset i have is keep on learning keep on progressing and always trying to do something new and always trying to get the most production out of the, the out of the stuff we're doing here so yeah row covers are very important for production purposes for the longevity of the crop just for you know the increase of production on the strawberries so even though they're still super expensive to to put on and very labor intensive to put on in the fall and through the winter as you guys saw from that trial from the university of arkansas you know just to increase your production that much or putting on the road covers on time you know it's it, it's, it's it's crazy how much it helps out and one thing that also helps out with the uh with the strawberries and the road cover let's say you plant on time and you don't apply any row covers you will get those crowns developed through the fall but then if it gets really cold really quick in the fall or in the winter then you could get a lot of winter damage a lot of cold damage and then your crowns are going to start declining and start dying off so that's why it's very important to apply row covers on time just to preserve those crowns because we're in the fruit business i mean you can have the biggest and most beautiful beautiful plants but you're not going to be selling the plants you're going to be selling the fruit so our idea, our, our, our main goal is to have the best fruit as possible. So we got to be able to preserve those crowns all winter long so that whenever spring comes around, we go ahead and start producing and picking those crown or the berries. So we go ahead and start paying off our investment. So yeah, row covers are, are a must in strawberry production, especially down here. I mean, we're in the lower, the, the, the southern part of the Midwest, but you know, they're still very important. And I, I, don't, I don't understand farmers who don't use row covers i guess they're just i mean i don't know I, that, that's the thing you know looking at the research and, and showing and listening to them i'm like how do farmers not use row covers so as you guys know I, I like to think about both sides of the story you know so now thinking like the other farmers you know i understand that you know they're expensive but then again if you don't apply them you're going to go ahead and lose a little bit of production but then again you don't have the investment of the row cover so i guess it in their mind it offsets for but for me you know it the like i said we're we, we're in the fruit business we're not in the plant business so you know we got to be able to sell the fruit to make money so you got to be able to protect the crowns the plants the berries from freezing off and another big thing that we use row covers for in the spring and this is the main reason is whenever in the in the spring whenever they start blooming and, and growing nicely we got to be able to protect the strawberry blossoms from freezing out so last year we applied row covers and then we took them off at the last week of uh, uh, February and then whenever uh, the, the spring frost started coming we go ahead and put them back on and off. So I wanted to see what the difference is between the outside temperature at ground level versus the ground level temperature underneath the row covers and there was a 9 degree difference between the two because we, we applied the row covers on or you pull the row covers on midday i believe that that day was like 50 degrees outside it was sunny so we, we went ahead and trapped that heat in there we threw the sandbags on and then at night that temperature was still trapped in there the soil temperature due to the black plastic radiated, radiated up so it made a like a mini greenhouse underneath the row covers there then it protected the flowers from freezing gallop so that's 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 one of the main reasons you want to use row covers on strawberries but now you know the winter protection part of it is also a big critical thing just because you're able to protect those crowns and you're able to protect the actual berries from freezing out and like i mentioned i'm no expert at growing strawberries or with row covers like i said this is my second year second fall ever planting them so last fall we did 10,000. this year we planted 35,000. 
so we have the demand for strawberries now i just got to perfect growing them and perfect you know how to do everything and then figure out the whole science behind it so you know as long as, you, as you're able to sell the product you're able to do the research and figure out how to do it but if you don't have anywhere to sell the product then you could you could be the best strawberry grower in the world but if you don't have you don't have where to sell the product you're just kind of wasting your time and wasting your energy for no good reason so that's the the beauty about our farm that's why we've been so blessed that we're able to have such a high demand for the product and then just figure it out as a as a time as the years go on and as the times you know keep progressing so uh yeah it's just uh you got to be able to sell be, be able to sell your product and if you do anything is possible so once again i want to go ahead and show you guys these uh rocco's here in detail they're staying green and one thing i um uh, been looking up on these rockos they're not very cold tolerant as as i read i mean we'll see how they do throughout this year but i know the chandlers are just a uh a workhorse i mean these things are a powerhouse when it comes to production wise so this is going to be pretty much it for today if you guys have any questions about row, row covers go ahead and leave them down in the, the comment section below i'm going to try to answer them answer them to the best of my ability like i said i'm no expert i'm just a young farmer out here trying to trying to grow some strawberries but hey I'll, I'll try to share as much knowledge and experience with you guys as possible so if you guys have any questions please let me know don't be scared to ask i mean that's the thing you know i'm i'm the kind of person you know i'm, I'm not scared to ask if i if whenever even even if i go to the grocery store if I, if I don't find a certain thing i just hey they're the people are there to they're the employees are there to answer questions so i just go ahead and ask i mean there's nothing hard nothing hard about asking because you will find so uh that's the thing you know if you don't if you if you never ask you're never going to find out you're never going to go ahead and figure out your problem so hey if you guys have any questions go ahead and let down in the comment section below i'm gonna try to answer to the best of my ability and um if i can't figure it out or answer you as a question i have you know i'm really good close friends with the uh some other farmers and some of the extension guys so i'll just re i'll just send them an email but hey can you reach out to this person and then uh we'll get you figured out don't worry about it i mean we'll, we'll get you figured out any question you guys have so this is gonna be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and smash that like button if you guys know today's video don't forget we're trying to hit 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you guys want to help me out, I would appreciate it. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we will see you next time.